I agree that smoking is more harmful than vaping. Sounds like you know a bit about the safety of vapes. Can we chat a little bit more about this? Sure. You said you use unflavored e-liquids that are made specifically for the vape you have and are not using any other oils or cannabis in your vape. You also try to vape with the window open to help clear some of the air. I actually keep the window open so my parents don't smell it. But yeah, I only get the unflavored e-juice that's made for my vape. I really appreciate your honesty. What else do you know about vapes? I know all about the stuff in the news. <coughs> there was actually a kid from my high school who got sick. That was scary. Yes, all the stuff in the news was pretty scary. Those were mostly due to people using other products in their vape, like THC, which commonly uses vitamin E acetate as an additive. This can be very dangerous, even lethal when inhaled. Don't worry, I don't use that. I only vape. No other drugs. I got it. Sounds like you were mindful about your safety. Could I make sure I've got this right? Sure. So you bought the vape from the store near your high school and you buy the e-liquid that's made for your specific vaping device from there only, not from friends or other places, and you never use flavored e-liquids. You don't use any other oils in your vape and you are not sharing your vape with anyone. I also upgraded my vape to a second generation and always followed the instructions from the manufacturer about replacing parts. And I only charge it with the charger it came with. Yes, you're definitely informed about the product and are trying to use it safely. I would like to share a bit more information, if that's okay? Yep. One thing to consider is that we really don't know how using these products for many years will affect us. They are still new products, so we don't know if they have serious health effects with long-term use. Yeah, I hear you, but for the time being, I'm good with vaping. You feel confident that you have control over your use. I don't use the product all day, so I can't get addicted like my friends are to smoking. You told me that you are vaping when you wake up, in between classes, after school, and before you go to bed. Do you vape any other times? If my friends and I are out after dinner, I usually vape then too. If not, I take the dog for a walk around 7 or 8 and then vape. Oh yeah, and during lunch, we go to the plaza around the corner to grab a snack, and I'll vape then too. Got it. So it sounds like you don't vape when you're in class and when you're at home with your parents. Yeah, I can't leave class anymore. I got caught vaping in the washrooms, so now they're watching me closely. And I can't vape when I'm with my parents. They have a strict no smoking or vaping rule. So sometimes you have to leave class so you can go vape? Yeah, but just for a couple of puffs. Okay, so I think I have a better picture of your use. Aside from your more regular times that you use the vape, there have been times when you would leave class to vape as well. You shared that your parents really don't want you to vape, so you know you find other ways to vape when you're at home, like taking the dog for a walk or going out with your friends. You also vape first thing in the morning and just before going to sleep. Did I miss anything? Hmm, yeah, I guess it kind of sounds like a lot more when you put it that way, but whatever, it's fine. Has there ever been a time when you wanted to vape but couldn't because you were in class or your parents were around? I'm curious what happens during those times. How do you feel? When I'm in class, I sometimes feel like I really want to vape, but that's just because I really like vaping. It makes me feel calm. It's not because I'm itching to or anything. We know that nicotine is addictive and that e-liquid with nicotine is also addictive. From what I'm hearing, I'm concerned that you might be vaping not just because you like it, but because your body is now used to getting nicotine and craving it. Can we talk a little bit more about this? I'm not addicted. I can stop any time. I just don't want to. Despite the amount you're vaping, you're still pretty confident that you're not addicted and can quit when you're ready. I wonder if you'd be willing to try an experiment. Would you be willing to not vape for 24 hours and then just observe? You know, see what happens? Why would I do that? I don't want to quit. This is not about quitting. This will give us some information about how vaping affects you. And then we can talk about how to manage any negative effects you might notice, if any. So just stop for a day? Exactly. It's just an experiment to see what happens when you don't vape. Okay, just for 24 hours. During the 24 hours, pay attention to any symptoms you might experience, like feeling irritable, intense cravings, feeling anxious or sad, having trouble concentrating or getting headaches, or anything else that comes up. Okay. I also have this information pamphlet about using the product safely so you can minimize your risk. You already have taken some steps to reduce your risk. This might help provide some additional strategies. Got it. 